In this module, we're going to discuss how to do scheduled backups or automated backups. So inside of Retrospect, on the left side, you click on Automate, and then you click on Manage Scripts. You then click New, and it will ask you what type of script you'd like to create. In this example, we're going to choose Backup. And we click OK, and then it asks us to name the script. This name could be anything you want. We're going to call it Nightly Backup. And we click OK. And then Retrospect asks us some very simple things. What is the source? What do we want to back up? Now I can choose one, just the C drive. I can choose the E drive. I can choose my backup clients. Or I can choose everything, just, to, just by clicking and dragging. In this case, we're going to go ahead and we're going to choose two folders. And we're going to click OK. And now we have a list of two folders as our sources. If I want to add additional ones, I can simply just add, and then pick something else and click OK, and now I have three three sources for my script. When I click OK, it shows me those sources. Now I can go to Destination, and we can go ahead and choose Backup Set A, because we've used that in the past, and then we click OK again, and now we have a source list of Backup Set, a source of these disks, Destination of Backup Set A, and then we go to Schedule, and we go to Add, and then we choose the schedule type. And typically you use the top one, which is day of week. And we click OK. And then we put an X next to the days of the week we want your backup to run on. So we can say Monday through Friday. And we want it to uh, do a normal backup. We want it to start at 10 p.m. So we click OK. And we click OK. And now we have a very simple script. Now every weekday at 10 p.m., Retrospect will look at this list of sources and it will copy them in this order to the destination backup set. Now we can change this a little bit. Actually, before we even do that, let's go ahead and click OK here. And let's go to what we call the Activity Monitor. So if I expand this and I go to Activity Monitor, in the Activity Monitor, we can go to Scheduled. And what it will show us here is our pending schedules. What's going to happen in the next week or two weeks or six months for that matter? as we can scroll down. And so we can see that today at 10 p.m. it's going to do a normal backup to backup set A, and then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then so on. So this is a very simple script that we can set up. Now if we return to Automate and go to Manage Scripts, we can go to our nightly backup, and we can change this a little bit. We can add a second destination. So in this case we're going to add backup set B to our script and we're going to go ahead and start with a brand new schedule. So we're going to delete the existing schedule, and we're going to start over. So I click Add, and I do Day of Week, and we're going to make this a little bit different. This is a rotation between Backup Set A and Backup Set B. So on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I want to do a normal backup to Backup Set A at 10 p.m. Then I can add a second schedule, doing a normal backup, on Tuesday and Thursday, but this time I'm going to change it from Backup Set A to Backup Set B, and I'm going to leave my action as normal, and click OK. So now I have Backup Set A and Backup Set B alternating on different days. So now if I go ahead and close my script, and I return to the preview under the Activity Monitor, we'll see that it's alternating between A, B, A, B, A, B. So this is a very simple way to have maximum safety alternating between multiple backup sets. Let's go ahead and look at a different backup strategy. So if we go to Manage Scripts, and we're going to delete our existing backup script, and we're going to say New, and once again it's going to be a backup script, and we're going to call it Nightly. What I can do is I can have a source, we'll just choose the C drive for simplicity. Destination can be Backup Set A, And then we go down to Schedule, and what I can do is I can change how the backup runs. So let's say on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, I want Retrospect to do a normal backup, meaning I want it to just back up the new or changed files since the previous backup. What I can also do is I can add a new backup action. By changing this to Recycle, and I put an X on Friday, then what will happen is 
Monday through Thursday it will do an incremental backup of just the newer change files. And on Friday it will erase the backup and start all over again as if you've never backed up before. So when it comes back and runs the schedule on Monday, it's starting fresh with a brand new backup set. Or, excuse me, the same backup set, but just resetting what was there previously. Now we can also change this a little bit again by double clicking on it. Instead of leaving this weeks as one, I can say two. Now what this will do is it will do a recycle backup every other week on Friday. Or if I change the weeks to a three, then every three weeks on Friday it will perform the recycle backup. So that allows me to have alternating sets or alternating schedules. So as an example, if I know that my backup media will fill up after two weeks of incremental backup, then I can have it do a recycle backup automatically every two weeks so that I don't get a media request asking me to continue with my backups. We're now going to look at some other backup strategies. So, so when we go to automate and we go to manage scripts, we can create a new script and we'll be a backup script again. And we're going to call this uh, daily. How about this? Daytime backup. And our source is going to be the C drive. And we're going to do our destinations just a little bit different. We're going to go to destination. And we're going to create some new destinations. And we're going to make these tapes. Tape backup sets. And we're going to call this one Monday. And we're going to choose this option down here that says go directly to defining additional tape sets. And we say next. And we're going to do Tuesday. Oops. We have Monday. If I can type. Tuesday. Wednesday. Thursday. And then Friday. And we say next. We're not going to use any security. We're going to save the catalog files into retrospect catalog files. And now I have a backup set for each day of the week. I click OK after selecting all of them. And I can go down to here to schedule. And I can schedule a different destination for each day of the week. So on Monday, I can choose the Monday destination. Add day of week. Tuesday, we choose the Tuesday destination. And then add day week, Wednesday, and we choose the Wednesday destination. So I think you get the idea that you can have, by having multiple backup sets, you can rotate on a daily basis from one backup set to another quite easily with retrospect. When we look at the preview, Retrospect will actually show us all of these different backup sets that we've got going on. So under Automate, in the Activity Monitor, we have the preview. So we have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and alternating between them. So Retrospect does make scheduling of backups using different backup strategies fairly simple.